Introduction of Diagnosis Cable for Wapco Telematics Device By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the connection procedure of Diagnosis Cable for Wapco Telematics Device and Troubleshooting Procedure for Wapco Telematics Device Advantages of Diagnosis Cable Diagnostic support will be provided over remote support and reduces the dependency on the Wapco team. Improves the response time to customer issues. Hardware required for connection. Telematics device. Telematics serial cable. Part number IE452905. USB RS232 cable. Laptop. Softwares required for connection. Terra term version 4.106. Python version 2.7.2. Connection procedure. Step 1. Remove 35 pin connector from telematic device and 5 pin connector from harness. Connect the 35 pin cable connector with telematics device. Step 2. Connect the RS232 cable with telematics serial cable connector. Step 3. Connect the USB port of RS232 cable with laptop. Note. Ensure that TerraTerm and Python software is installed in laptop. Connect with Uptime team remotely for further process. Connecting the diagnostic cable with software. Open the TerraTerm software. Click on File option from menu. Select New Connection and check for Serial Number port. Click on Setup option from menu. Click on Terminal. Select CR plus LF in Receive and Transmit field. Click on Setup option from menu. Click on Serial port. Select speed 115200. Issue commands as per device type. Disconnect the Terra term. File Disconnect. Open command prompt. Change the drive to C by typing CD backslash and press enter. Now we will be in C drive. Navigate to location where the firmware file is stored by CD command. Issue commands as per activity and required software. Troubleshooting Guidelines for Wabco Telematics Device 35-pin and 5-pin coupler connection related issues and diagnostic process Check 35-pin coupler is properly locked or not Check 5-pin coupler is properly locked or not Check Telematics Fuse BF2 of 10 amperes Check IMEI number is properly mapped or not. If not mapped, map it using AishaLive.in or MyAisha.in portal. If the problem still exists, you need to perform the further steps. Soft reset process. Shut off battery cutoff for 30 minutes. Then, Check the device status on Aisha Live or My Aisha portal. If no issue found, release the vehicle. If issue is still not resolved, perform the hard reset process. Hard reset process. Voltage check at 35 pin connector. Check voltage between pin 1 and pin 15. It should be 12 volts. Check voltage between pin 1 and pin 24. It should be 12 volts. Check voltage between pin 4 
and CAN1 high. It should be 2.5 volts. Check voltage between pin 16 and CAN1 low. It should be 2.5 volts. Continuity check between 35 pin connector and 5 pin connector. Check continuity between pin 24 of 35 pin connector and pin 1 of 5 pin connector. Check continuity between pin 1 of 35 pin connector to pin 4 of 5 pin connector. Check continuity between pin 15 of 35 pin connector to pin 5 of 5 pin connector. Check continuity between pin 4 and pin 6 of 35 pin connector and pin 6 of 5 pin connector. Check continuity between pin 14 and pin 16 of 35 pin connector to pin 2 of 5 pin connector. Remove the device from vehicle Remove the backside screws of telematics device as shown. Remove the coupler side screws as shown. Remove the screws which are fitted on the corner of the motherboard. Take out the SIM card from the telematics motherboard. SIM card related issues and diagnostic process. Put the SIM card into the phone. Check the network signal in phone for telematics SIM. Turn on the mobile data and browse Aisha Live or My Aisha application or any website. If network signal is not coming, Contact Uptime Team for SIM replacement. Note, AIS-140 devices are integrated with embedded SIM. Disconnect the internal battery connection from the telematics motherboard. If network signal and mobile data is OK in phone, then refit the SIM card into the device. Connect the 35-pin coupler into the motherboard. Switch on the ignition key. Check blue LED light is glowing. After few minutes, check vehicle status in Aisha Live or My Aisha Portal. Thank you for watching.